Hi, this is the Human Operating System Time. This channel is for education and technology. So yesterday I shared the Wing Chun Wooden Dummy year 2020. And after that, I got many questions and also many uh, defensive comments from our Wing Chun friends. Uh, a sample of the defensive comment is like this. You need something rigid to simulate the type of force involved. You can practice some elements on a frame wooden dummy. And to say so otherwise is dishonest. Okay, so obviously uh, this involved the very defensive and personal, you know, because using of the term dishonest. See, if we want to discuss technical, let's talk technical objectively, not getting into dishonest, dishonest stuff. Now, today I like to share with you. The truth on wooden dummy. The truth on wooden dummy. Yes. Wooden dummy, Wing Chun wooden dummy today. It is a disaster. Okay. So you say that, well, you know, how can you say this, Hendrik? This is a clip in the news from Taiwan years ago. Okay, after Xi Xiaodong challenged the Chinese uh, martial artist, this person is challenging Wing Chun in Taiwan. So I show you this in the news, the clip. Here it say that Wing Chun wooden dummy. Why don't you guys go just beat up the CPR dummy? Okay. So this is the reality. The MMA guy is telling you go go beat up the CPR dummy. Now So the reason for the dummy 2020 there is a reason behind that. Okay? A technical reason behind it. Now, let's ask the questions. What is the purpose of a wooden dummy practice? What is the purpose of the wooden dummy practice? So according to this friend is uh, to simulate you need something rigid to simulate the type of force involved according to this friend, Wing Chun friend. But according to this MMA friend who put in news that everybody in Taiwan and entire world know is Wing Chun wooden dummy why don't you just go might as well beat up the CPR any dummy okay CPR dummy so we need to ask questions what is a wooden dummy for now we know if we go for the ancient using today's language, we know wooden dummy is for training. Okay? Wooden dummy is a training tool. Now, what type of training do you want to get from the wooden dummy? What type of training? Again, using today's language, a wooden dummy training in the ancient first is to train for momentum, shoot in, feel in. As you can uh, see from this channel, what are they? Feel in, shoot in, or my book, Restricting Wing Chun, describe properly, clearly what the Shaolin Sword Strike Canon means. The momentum okay also the multi-directional strength of force while one is struggling with the opponent in the 
sticking body or sub strike or the close quarter zone. The third is fighting strategy. Okay, fighting strategy. Now, let's emulate the real life of this training purpose of uh, the uh, ancient wooden army. The first is momentum. You want to shoot it, then you need a momentum. Okay? You need the handling of the momentum. You shoot in, you feel in, you shoot in again on different directions, dynamically, so that you'll be able to handle different range, different angle, <coughs> and level. You need the multi-directional strength while in the grappling range or close body range with the opponent, namely, you need to move around here. So if the dummy is here, I need to be able to exert force, multi-directional force here. I need to be able to do the shoot-in. To, 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 to develop the shoot in and the recycling momentum so far, which does red boat training band show you in the real life dynamically. Now, also, it involves strategy. Like yesterday, I showed in other video. If you are stronger than me, we are this close. No way I'm going to go straight line. I can't. Then I have to use the plum flower footwork to get in with an angle. Or even get behind him with an angle. Okay? And you need to manage his legs. So you need to be proficient with the momentum handling, the multi-directional strength of force handling, and the strategy handling. Otherwise, what are we training? What are we training? You know that guy, the MMA guy in Taiwan saying that one why don't you might as well go beat the CPR dummy, you know, the dummy using CPR? Then our Uncle Bruce Lee said so too. Bot don't fight back. See, we always love to quote uh, Uncle Bruce Lee. Oh, flow like water, my friend. Bot don't fight back. Does your wooden army fight back if you just bang at him? What type of force do you have? Just practice wooden dummy like this today. Does it have the shoot in? Momentum train? Does it have the struggling? The strength train? With the 360 degree change? Range? A large range? And level, does we have it? Or the wooden dummy is just standing this far away doing your techniques, walk a little bit small angle and doing the techniques. How is that going to be fit the criteria of the ancient momentum for shoot in? multi-directional force for handling this close body and then the strategy if you don't have this multi-directional force for handling when people grab you you're gone because your body never trained if you don't have the momentum shoot in you'll not be able to get close and you'll not be able to to, to, to put a heavy impact if you don't know the strategy you stand there, 
and get taken down. Don't we see that on and on? So, this is reality. Wouldn't that mean it's not the force you banging your hand there and walk a small angle like the other day I talked about footwork? Or you just go like this because you're playing with the dummy. You just play like this and then you go play like this. You cannot go here because you have a frame here. You can beat it as, as hard as you want. What does it give you? Just look at the MMA players' comment, comments on what is going on. So if you don't have a realistic wooden army which is helping the training, what are you doing? A ritual? Now it is, it is already not what the ancient Shaolin scriptures is teaching, not a cop to today's MMA's rule of game, which you need to develop to follow, what are you doing? Not to mention everybody talk about when you do this, you have wooden dummy, footwork, and so forth. So what is footwork? Footwork is just simply this. When you want to drive in, there's footwork there. When you want to retreat back or go different angles, that is the reality of footwork. Footwork is not walking in pattern. Footwork is a part of momentum handling. Same thing. Footwork is a part of multi-directional force handling. Without this momentum handling, and the multi-directional handling and the strategy. Footwork is useless. It's just an empty name. And so many of our friends asking me, so you know, can you point out anything really not working in wooden dummy today? Yes. Can you get close to slam into him? You can. Can you move in a rush angle? You can. You always stand here. Long range. Now, if you don't go slam in, you don't have the momentum training. That's why the 2020 dummy, you have to have the room to slam in. Also, be able to play the multi directional force and also be able to play the strategy. And then the hop footwork go natural, come natural. That's how we develop the thing. Also, if you look at, say today's in general wooden dummy play, the first one is you grab the arm, you pull, extend your arm, and you're pulling the dummy. Oh, sorry, those are wrong techniques. According to who? According to Salim Short Strike. The proper techniques is you move in. When you move in, why you're pulling him? This is in the Salim Short Strike classic way. If you look closely, don't the judo ka, the wrestler, the jujitsu, BJJ, doing this, move in when they pull. Move in when they pull. Arm come, move in when they pull. Move in when they pull. Anybody stand 10 million miles away and pulling this thing? It is violating human body mechanics already. So, how are you going to handle the momentum? See, this is the issue. Unless this problem solved, what is your wooden dummy practice is for? Secret techniques? Secret techniques when you don't even know that the body is supposed to go in, the, the hand 
pulling and the body supposed to go in? Look at it even in the BJJ, in Jiu Jitsu, in Judo, in wrestling. Don't you do that? When you want to do a knee kick, don't you get in? So, wooden dummy is a big problem. It is a disaster today. If you want to talk in the same world in MMA, or Western boxing, or BJJ, it is a problem. It creates bad habit. Like the other day, we talked about the, the footwork. You are limited in this, stay in here, and stay in here. You couldn't even get moved in. How can you exert force, strength? Sure, you can say, well, I'm banging this thing. So I have a strong bridge. Sure, you can have a strong bridge, but why do you need a wooden army? You're not using the tools for what it is. So this is to share with you today, you know, technically, it has to be really serious. As I share with you here. Why don't people go debate with him, technically? He's been there for years, at least three years. Everything is silent, quiet. Yet, what is the teaching of Shaolin Sword Strike? Everybody seal the mouth. And because somebody don't like it, other people shouldn't talk about it. What is that? Is that a religion or a cult? So this is to share with you, okay? And as I often say, this channel is only for those who like to investigate the ancient culture and the uh, the, 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 the technology of the ancient. We only talk about technology, we only talk about evidence, science. We don't go personal, and there's no politics here, and there's no talk bad or something there, or put down people. Technically, it has to be clear, or else you put people in the false security. As our Uncle Bruce Lee said, bot doesn't hit back. We can train to hit the bot or wooden dummy 10,000 way. It's not going to hit back. But your opponent in MMA, in Western boxing, they're going to hit back. And if you don't have the momentum, the multiple directionless strength, the strategy, and the footwork, which is a part of every one of them, you can play. That's that simple.